Hello beautiful Hamo heroes and welcome to Story Time with Mrs Fuller. I've got my beautiful Edison here who also loves a story and we're going to read together in the sunshine today. As well as being one of your favourite teachers at Hammondville Public School, I'm also a mama bear to three beautiful boys. And so it's going to be pretty clear that uh, we would have this book on our bookshelf at home, trying to encourage my boys to read. It's always good to have a topic that's going to keep their attention. So today, Edison's choice for me reading a story is Aunt Doe's What Do They Do With All the Poo from All the Animals at the Zoo. Ando is actually one of my favourite authors. Uh, he's a very funny guy and he's written quite a few books. Some of my favourite books are actually The Little Refugee, The Happiest Refugee, and I really love the Weirdo series. Um, my boys are reading that and Ninja Kid as well. Um, so you might like to check out some of his books. Uh, to have a read of. I've put some of them up here. So let's get started. I'm going to be reading the book down here on the little video, but I've also put some of the pictures and some of the words up on the screen for you to see. What do they do with all the poo from all the animals at the zoo? What do they do with all the poo from all the animals at the zoo? The hippos, the tigers, the kangaroos. What do they do with all that poo? I wonder, don't you wonder too? Yes, I do. Well, my brother told me the other day that big trucks come and take it away and they mix it with all kinds of material and make it into children's breakfast. Cereal. Cereal. But my sister said, that's not right. She said that they pick it all up at night and they mix it all in a big machine and make it into... Chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. I say, what do they do with all the poo from all the animals at the zoo? The zebras, the camels and the elephants too. What do they do with all that poo? I wonder. Don't you wonder too? Yes, I do. Well, my Uncle Harry put his two cents in and he told us all with a cheeky grin they pick up all the animal droppings and that's what you get in your pizza topping. But my dad reckons everybody's wrong. He said that after the people are gone, they scoop it up in special trolleys and sell it to the company that makes all the children's lollies. I say, what do they do with all the poo from all the animals at the zoo? The penguins, giraffes and the pandas too. What do they do with all that poo? Do they squish it all in a giant keg and mould it into yummy Easter eggs? Do they stir it all up in a swimming pool and sell it as soup to the local school? Do they gather it all up with garden rakes and bake it in a bunch of birthday cakes? I wonder, don't you wonder too, what they do? Yes, I do. I say, what do they do with all the poo from all the animals at the zoo? I wonder. Oh, you know. Do you? Ew. And that's the end and of the story. Thanks so much for joining Eddie and I today. We hope you have enjoyed that book. You might like to actually have a think or maybe even have a little bit of a research what they actually do with all the poo from all the animals at the zoo. I'm sure there's some really great gardening tips that you might find. Anyway, thanks for joining us. See you later, Hamo Heroes. Bye.